the brick then. Now today I've got another bricklink opening. Now I did mention this last week and I also mentioned these parts of the Gotham City which I just expanded onto two new tables. Now those two tables I got for my birthday and I also got this bricklink for my birthday. But that is beyond that is besides the point at the moment because we're now going to open up this package. parts out of the box you can see that this is the biggest brick link order that I've ever got and it is a really good one now you can see most of these bricks are dark grey and that is because they for a, they for my new skyscraper bank building that I'm building now there's not all of the bricks that I need for it but it is most of them the only other thing that I need is to get all the windows for that building and then that building will be complete oh and also the base plate as well but I'm probably going to get that s somewhere else at a later date but now I'll give you a closer look at all the parts that I got. So firstly, you can see that I got some of these arch pieces here. Now these are a one by six piece and, they, and they're two bricks high. So they're definitely gonna be very helpful and it's part of the design that I'm going for with this new building that I'm building. You can see that I got some of these one by two parts that are two studs high. And these are gonna be also used for the bank building and also gonna be very helpful. Next we come to a pe an angle piece that is not going to be used for the bank building but is going to be used for the roofs of my monorail tunnels. I've already built one and you will have seen that in some of the past updates but on the new table I'm going to be having some, of some more tunnels just so it looks very um, similar to the monorail we saw in Batman Begins. Next I got some of these 2x2 two two tiles but these aren't normal tiles because they actually go on the underside of a brick. Now, I didn't really get these for any specific reason, but I just got them because I don't actually have any and I thought they might come in handy one day because I've never used them before, so I'm not sure quite what to use them for yet, but I thought they would definitely come in handy and it's a nice piece to have as well. Next, you can see I just got some black plates and these are for the floors of the new building that I'm building. Next, you can see some of these support pieces, and I also got this for my monorail tunnels. Now, the, the store only had three, and I would have got more if they did have more, but I thought every time I make a Bricklink order, if the store has any of these, I'll get some, just so I have plenty when, it, when I come round to building the monorail tunnels. Now, I, I can't build them at the moment because I don't have enough track, but I am planning on getting that quite soon as well. Now on the end of the first row you can see I got some more chairs. Now this might sound like a strange thing because you always get loads of chairs in Lego sets but somehow I seem to have ran out of them from all the chairs that I've needed to put in all the set, in all the models that I've built in Gotham City. So I thought grey was a nice colour to get because it's not too colourful for Gotham as well. And so I st stocked back up on them so I've got plenty for the buildings that I need to build. Moving up from that you can see I got a 1x2 tile. Now, I've not got any special use in mind for this yet, but I just thought the print was really nice and I've no idea what set this comes from. I think it might be maybe a bit of an old one, but it might not be, I'm really not very sure, but I thought it was nice and definitely will come in handy. Moving on, you can see that I got some more grey 2x2 two two tiles. Now, you may know that recently I did get a big order of these, 500 to be exact, but because I've expanded the city, I'm going to need a little more, so I just got a couple more for now, but later on I will get a lot more when I have to tile all the roads up again. But I haven't got enough road plates yet, so I can't do that quite yet, but I will do soon. Now next up, I got some of these white and black 1x2 tiles. Now I got these because I thought it would be good for a checkered pattern inside one of my buildings to give a nice different tile floor instead of just grey or brown. Next up, I got some of these mason bricks here. Now, I thought these would be quite good because I haven't actually got any mason bricks in this colour. I've only got them in the um, the light, the tan colour, and I, that's not very um, useful for what I need. And they're all in sets as well, so I thought I'd get some dark grey ones because I'll definitely be able to use them in Gotham. Finally, on this row, I got some more archers, but these are a bigger size than the 1x6s I showed you before because when you put these together, they're, they're 1x10, and that's very helpful helpful because on the building that I'm building the, the windows in the middle there's two put together and the arch needs to go over all of them and overall that is 10 studs so I needed an arch that could reach over 10 studs at the top you can see some more black plates for the floor and these are the larger ones and these are definitely going to be used in my big grey sky skyscraper building here you can see quite a lot of these dark grey corner pieces and these are going to also be used for the bank building as well here 
here you can see some of these dark grey pillars. Now I think these are five bricks high and they are one, one stood wide and I'm going to be using this for the, these for the elevator shaft inside my new building. Now I might put power functions into it but it is quite expensive to get another motor so I'm not sure. It might just be wound up by hand at the moment but we'll see. Now finally I got some of these 1x6 panel parts, now I do need a lot more of these for my skyscraper building but unfortunately the store just didn't have enough so I got as many as they had just for now and at a later date maybe when I get the windows I will also get enough of these 1x6 panel parts as well. So that completes this video of this Bricklink unboxing. Now, as you can see, this was my biggest Bricklink order, but these are not all the bricks I'm going to need to finish my grey bank building, and hopefully in the near future I will order some more parts for that building. But for now, this will definitely give me a good start. But overall, on the whole city, there's still lots of work to be done, and it is going to be an ongoing project. But I'm definitely very excited to get started. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video as always, and I hope you like, comment and subscribe for more videos on everything Lego.